Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Two Beers in Asia. And uh, ah, oh my gosh, what's that? Ah, I don't know which is scarier. I don't know which one is scary. So, um, PJ, yeah. I, I have a question. Do you? Um, why are you holding up that mask in front of your face? This is a mask uh, from where? From Korea, I believe. From Korea, from that's a mask. It's piece. a dear friend of mine owns this. I believe it's you. Um, that's right. It's my mask. Can from you my tell mouth. us a little bit about that? I honestly don't really know much about this mask, um, aside from the fact that I bought it in the city of Busan in Korea. Busan Kevin! And by the way, yeah, that's right, my YouTube handle is Busan Kevin, so I bought this in Busan where I lived. I also lived in Seoul, and a other city called Ilsan. So yes, the reason why uh, PJ was holding up this Korean mask is because today we're actually having two beers in Asia. We're going to be two rice wine swillers in Asia, I suppose. Two unfiltered rice wine. Because what we're consuming sure. this evening, something. What I are drink. we? What, what are we drinking, Kevin? We're, we're drinking something called makoli. 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 I picked this up at a uh, import shop, and uh, makoli. Oh, that's too close. Oh, there we go. Yeah, now you can see it. <laughs> makoli. Makoli is a uh, an unfiltered rice wine. An unfiltered rice wine that was uh, traditionally popular with farmers in Korea, but now I mean. Now, if you go to Korea, you'll realize, or if you've ever lived in Korea, it's popular with, like, old guys. Old men love drinking this shit. And, um, because it gets you messed up. <laughs> it's, it's, it's good. I like it. I like it. I'm not an old man. There are a lot of Zainichi Koreans in Japan. Yep. Zainichi means Koreans that came here historically, from World War II or previously. Um, and they, they live here and they've been raised here for several generations. Um, but... Uh, for various complex reasons, which we really should not get into, um, yeah. <laughs> are not yet Japanese citizens, although some can be. And, and even for case, other complex reasons why they came here, we don't want to go into that either. We love the Koreans, we love the Japanese, we love everybody. And I love Canadians because I'm Canadian. And, and I, I barely can tolerate Canadians because he's Japanese. Yeah. It's not really the whole so Population-wise, in Japan, Kobe is considered a small city, but it's about one and a half million people. So by Canadian standards, that's a big city. Um, so, but there's a large expat population uh, living in Kobe. So there's a lot of foreign food shops, there's a lot of foreign food. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We are in Japan. Oh, wow, actually, it's... It's white is clear. Oh, well, that's enough, sir. <laughs> now, this is about... Let me uh, hold this up. That's about 6% alcohol. Oh, let's not... Yeah, there we go. I, I'm not necessarily branding. What are we doing? Summer whiskey. Yeah, it's not summer. This is an unfiltered rice wine, which means hangover. Yes, this <laughs> is not uh, un sake. Un it's not Nihon sake. Unfiltered is usually not the term you want with, uh, with alcohol. No, but let's give it a try. That's got alcohol. I like that. I like it too, man. It's got alcohol. You could just drink this all night and you would remember it the next day. No, you wouldn't and remember it the next day. You didn't. Oh, good point. Good point. You regret it. Um, so, well, you know what? What we wanted to talk about today is, it, it being the holiday season, we, it wanted, we wanted to talk about... <laughs> Did you just say it ish? <laughs> I was chewing on a piece of it, uh, it, 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 it. dried beef. What do we call this? Beef jerky. All right. Um, so there we go. That's just 12 beers in Asia right now, is it? We wanted to talk about homesickness. Yes, we did. Homesickness. In, in, okay. So here's the deal. Yeah. I think everyone at some point um, deals with homesickness to some degree. And those, Everyone but me. And, the, and those who don't lie. Oh, I've been told that. Oh, well. Okay. I think most normal people, I myself, sometimes deal with homesickness. And, how uh, do you deal with it? Oh, how, do, how do I? Let's talk about the symptoms first. Uh, now, um, honestly, like I, when I think about, when I, in my case, homesickness, I don't miss, I don't think to myself, oh, I wish I was in Canada right now. Because I, I really do love living in Japan. It's a lot of fun. It's cool. It is. It's an interesting place. It's very dynamic. Things are always changing. Um, yeah, it's every day is a learning experience, so to speak. Well, maybe not every day. But uh, I miss the little things. I miss like little. This is, well, for me, when I get kind of homesick, for example, like I miss, uh, you know, being able to barbecue in a back deck. Wow. You know, I, mean, I miss, I miss like, I miss living in a house as opposed to an apartment. But I miss like a big back deck and a backyard. And, you know, the barbecue on the back deck. I miss cheap coffee because I love coffee. I'm a big coffee drinker. And anyone who has ever, you know, visited Asia or been to Asia will know that going to somewhere like Starbucks um, will cost you an arm, a leg, and a proverbial left nut. 
Um, whereas in, in Canada or America, something like Starbucks, I know people in, in America or Canada think, oh, Starbucks is expensive. No, it's, it's you don't know. cheap you don't as know, shit. You don't know what expensive is until you've had coffee. Until you've had, a, until you've had a grande cafe latte in Asia. Yeah. Um, so it's small things like that I miss. And uh, yeah, and those are the things I'm looking forward to, you know, when I go back to Canada for vacation. You claim you don't. Well, no. The way you define it, and very ingenious, I might add, um, you define it, it's not that I never say I miss America or I miss home. My dad was in the Navy, we lived in a dozen different states. I don't have a hometown. See, I, did, I didn't have that. I, I grew up in a small town and I lived in my whole but, life. But I do miss the little things. I, I miss I miss Chicago style pizza, which is rare here. But you can't get it, but it's rare. Um, I miss... Yeah, I miss pizza in Canada. I eat pizza three times a week, two times, two, three times a week here. Um, but I miss Chicago style. I miss cheap pizza. I miss. I miss, I miss, I miss like staggering out of a bar at two in the morning. Well, maybe I do that, that here. But, but staggering out of a bar at two, <laughs> two in the morning, like stumbling to the cheap pizza joint and spending like two bucks on a giant slice of like shitty. Pizza. My point is, <laughs> you're gonna get homesick. Yeah. You're gonna miss things from your own culture, and there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. But you do have to realize it is just a, a phase. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And it, it, it's, it, it comes and goes, I find, too. Like, um, yeah, very much so. For me personally, anyway, I'll be comfortable in the culture for a long time. And then I'll get like pangs of homesickness, and then it goes away. And then I'm fine for a long time, I'm coasting along, and then, you know, it comes back. And it hits you when you're weakest. It's like the flu. Yeah, it tends to. That's true. Influenza. Or like, or like Makali. <laughs> it hits you when you're weakest. All right. Seriously, look at this. This is good stuff. It's hard to tell. I, I'm feeling, I'm feeling fuzzy and warm right now. Yeah, I gotta go. I'm gonna be out until like I got another five hours of, of, of drinking. I don't. <laughs> Sorry. Actually, or, or should I say I've, I'm envious? I don't know. I'm envious. You, the grass is always greener. The grass is. Isn't it though? Yeah. In the end, you know, what am I doing it for? I'm doing it for what you have already. So the thing is, we all we all have a good life, and I think the if the thing is, if I could leave on one note, is to enjoy the enjoy what you have. Smell the roses, as we say. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I don't care if you're some podunk town in in, in Nebraska or Saskatchewan. Hey, okay, same thing. <laughs> Bring it back. My point well, is, there's something good there, and when you leave it, you you you, all, you don't realize it until you leave it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So um, culture shock. It's a gift in, in some way. It is, and you get it when you live somewhere else. And then when you come back home, if you've been somewhere for a long time, you're going to get the rebirth. Yeah. So, uh, there you go. Live somewhere else. <laughs> Just live somewhere else. Drink beer own. or or, or, or rice or wine. Or <laughs> Drink Mokali. unfiltered rice wine. <laughs> gotta, love, gotta, love, gotta, gotta love Korea. Thank you, Korea. Thank um, you. Oh, oh, we appreciate this one. Um, you brought us wonderful um, kimchi and, and uh, other lovely spicy food. This is it, yes. Um, and and this alcohol that I'll regret one more. I'm. This is my, gonna be my last right here. No more. No, no, okay. no. I'm, I'm dead serious. All right. See you later, everyone. Take care. Another episode of Two Beers in Asia. Bye bye. Hope you're doing well. And stay tuned for the next episode some other time later. Real soon. Okay. Bye. Check back, y'all. <laughs>All right, um, by the way, we forgot to shake the makali. The makali, like we should have actually shook, we should have, we, we should have, is it shaked or shooken or shake? We should shaken? Have, we should have shaked, shooken? We should have shaked. The we bottle. Have shaken? Shaken. Because on the bottom it was filled Shook, with sediment. Shot. So there you go. So uh, our bad and, well. Where are we? Uh, cheers. Chin chin. <laughs> I'm Italian. That's my wife. Can't see her head. She's got no head, actually. Kind of like a ghost. Headless woman. Walks around with no head. It's really complicated. Japan but she is, does exist. Japan is interesting, isn't it? All right, see ya.